The Honourable Peter Robinson. Mr. Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and of course, the uh, remarks will be about uh, the passing uh, of uh, we Oscar. But uh, I think, in keeping with the, the views expressed by the family, it will be more about a celebration of the life uh, of Oscar Knox. From time to time, we come together in this chamber uh, to mark the, the death of perhaps someone who has given great public service, uh, someone who has. Uh, committed themselves and made some real achievement, whether it's in sport or the, the arts, uh, someone maybe from our, our own number who has uh, passed away. Uh, but in all of those, it's a, a recognition of the, the, the service and achievement of a lifetime that uh, someone has uh, been able to, uh, uh, to, to uh, bring forward. On this occasion, uh, some people might ask, uh, why do we mark uh, the, the passing of a, a five-year-old uh, boy? Uh, and the truth is that for many of us, uh, when we, we go through life, uh, we admire those who show courage uh, in the, the face of uh, suffering, uh, who can smile through pain and discomfort, uh, who, can, uh, who show that they don't lie down uh, when faced with uh, adversity. Uh, and while we all admire that when we see it on, in some individual, when you see it in the, the, the life uh, of a, a young child, it's particularly poignant. Uh, I had the, the pleasure and the honour of uh, meeting uh, Oscar. Uh, this was uh, a young boy who was faced with a very aggressive form of uh, cancer. It brought uh, pain and suffering into his uh, daily life. Uh, it uh, obviously impacted the whole of the family circle uh, and in effect he could not have a, a normal life but absolutely everybody who met him was uh, won over by his personality uh, by the mischievous innocence uh, of the, the young boy uh, he had uh, a way of uh, making you smile. You couldn't have been in his presence without smiling. Uh, and when the, the Deputy First Minister and I met him and he turned the office upside uh, down, uh, you would almost be exhausted after he, he left. There was so much uh, energy displayed uh, during that uh, period uh, of time. Uh, and I think it's right that we should uh, honour somebody who has uh, shown such fortitude uh, in the face of uh, adversity, brought so much joy and indeed love uh, to so many uh, people. Uh, it is, of course, sad that he's passed, and I think the words that uh, would have brought uh, tears from any stone uh, were his words in the midst of his suffering when he said that he didn't want to be a boy anymore. Uh, and that indicated that uh, somebody who had fought so hard uh, for so long uh, was uh, suffering so much. So today uh, we pass our condolences uh, to Stephen, uh, to Leona, and to we Izzy. Uh, people are inclined to forget the role of we Izzy, because anybody who has children knows that if uh, one child is getting paid an awful lot of attention, uh, it can affect the, the other child. But uh, Izzy was so much uh, a, a part of it all. She, she recognized the, the difficulties that uh, her, her brother was uh, facing. Uh, and it will be a very difficult time for her uh, in the months uh, and years ahead. So we send our condolences uh, to them. And it is at uh, times like this that uh, I'm inclined, particularly in the death of a child, to remember the exhortation of Christ to his disciples, uh, which also provides a, a promise uh, for those who lose a, a child at such an early age. Suffer little children to come on to me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God.